Hey guys, so I hope you all had a magical Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of my Christmas gifts that I received this year. Now, first off, I received a lot of Christmas presents. I feel incredibly lucky, incredibly grateful, and just thank you to everyone that bought me Christmas gifts. This video isn't to show off in any way because I know I've received quite a lot. Um, my mum starts shopping for Christmas and my dad in like January <laughs> so I know I've received quite a lot. It's not a show-off video in any way. I just want to you know show you guys what I got. As expected I got a lot of Harry Potter things um, some Buffy, some Merlin, some Doctor Who, all my fandoms, but I actually got more for Game of Thrones this year. So I'm going to try and put this video into sections, but before I do that I just want to show you a gift that I received before Christmas, which you've seen in a special Vlogmas video, and that was my Venus in Fur program, which Emily sent to me. Thank you very much, Emily. I had to include it here because it's a Christmas gift. So that was my wonderful Venus in Fair program. So I'm going to start by showing you all my DVDs because I got quite a few DVDs this year. First off, we have the complete third season of Merlin. I already have seasons one and two. Then we have Pirates of the Caribbean Salazar's Revenge. I now own all of the Pirates of the Caribbean films and we actually watched this on Boxing Day. Then I have my only Harry Potter DVD um, for Christmas, which is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I've never actually seen this before, but I think this came in the Wizards collection and somebody has obviously said Separated it. I don't know why you'd separate the Wizards collection if you have it, but there you go. Then I finally got the complete third season of Gotham, which I actually cried over because um, my parents knew that I couldn't afford it. I bought season one and season two when they first came out, but the third season I just couldn't afford, so I'm so happy that I finally have it for the collection. Then we have American Horror Story Asylum and American Horror Story Freak Show. I already have Murder House, and I don't think I have Coven. I think my dad thought I had Coven, so I just need Coven. Roanoke, which I really don't want, Hotel and uh, Cult when it comes out. And the last DVDs I got are all part of a box set, which leads nicely on to the next section of the video. And the next section of the video is going to be all of the Game of Thrones stuff that I received this year. So we have, or for Christmas rather, so we have Game of Thrones the complete first season. I can't believe I finally own Game of Thrones on DVD. The complete second season, the complete third season, the complete fourth season, and the complete uh, fifth season. So I still need season and six and I don't think season seven's out on DVD yet. So just a quick side note, <laughs> I actually told you guys that I only got seasons one to, to five for Christmas. I actually did get season six as well but it was um, hidden in one of the bags so I forgot that I'd received it but I did get season six of Game of Thrones as well and um, dad has just bought me season seven which is insane after everything I got for Christmas. Uh, so I now have all seven seasons of Game of Thrones when it comes in the post which I'm super happy about. So like I said I got quite a few Game of Thrones things this year so we'll start with these. I got three of the Dark Horse figures. So we have Peter Baelish. I already own Marjorie Tyrell, Arya Stark and Sansa Stark in these. So we have Peter Baelish and I'll show you the back. Tywin Lannister. Sorry I can't show you these very well because of the glare. And I'll show you the back of those. You can get these in your local B&M if you live in the UK. And finally Brienne of Tarth. I love this one. And there's the back. And then we're on to Funko related products, so I got a lot of Funko items. So I'll show you all the Game of Thrones Funko related items and then we'll get on to other Funkos. So I got three Funko keychains, Drogon, Daenerys Targaryen in her wedding dress and a Jon Snow. We have number 26, the Castle Black Jon Snow figure, again sorry about the glare. We have number 11, Cersei Lannister. Number 9, Arya Stark. Number 33, the White. Number 43, the Harpy. And finally for Game of Thrones, the Daenerys Targaryen rock candy. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you all of the other Funko related products. So first up we have number 14, Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. Then I received these four Harry Potter rock candies, so I now have all of the Harry Potter rock candies, I think. Oh wait, I think there's a Luna in her lion hat that I don't have. So we have Ron Weasley, again sorry about the glare. Luna Lovegood, I think they've released Luna in her lion hat, so I don't have that one. Harry Potter, Hermione, I already have a Hermione, and then if I turn it to the back... 
There's also a Bellatrix the Strange in the set, which I got for my birthday. Then I got both of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer rock candies, which I absolutely love. So we have uh, Buffy Summers and Willow Rosenberg. Then we have the Demi Guys Funko Pop, number 11, from Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. The Percival Graves Funko Pop, number 7, from Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. Serafina Pickery, number 6, from Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. And finally, the Niffler, number 8, from Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. Now, I already have this Niffler. My dad thought he'd bought the one with the purse, which I don't have. I already have him, but I think he's so cute, so I'm going to do something that I never do. I'm going to open him and display him out of box. Next up, I have one Gotham figure. I already have Selena Kyle and um, Edward Nigma, and I got Alfred and I love him. I love these Gotham figures. Again, there's quite a few now though, so it'll be hard to complete the set. But there's my Edward Nigma that I have. I just love these Gotham Diamond Select figures. Last year for Christmas, I got the complete first wave of the Harry Potter Magical Creatures. There was five in the wave. This year, I'm very lucky to say that I got the complete wave two of the Harry Potter Magical Creatures. So we have Bookbeak number six, the Dementor number seven, sorry, the glare is terrible. Fox number eight, Nagini number nine, and a Gringotts Goblin number ten. So I'm not going to show you these in much detail now because late, uh, next year sometime I'm going to be doing a review of all 10 of the ones I own so far. So I've slightly changed location to the bathroom so the sound and everything might be different. But I also got this bag of um, makeup and bath stuff. So I'm not going to go through it all but Katie, my best friend, bought me Snow Fairy which is my favourite scent ever. I've got bath bombs, um, a brush, and then just lots of makeup y bits in here. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through it all with you because it'll take too long. But I got lots of makeup, which I'm really happy about. So we've changed location again because I'm filming as I'm putting away. But we've also got this big bag you can't really see because the lighting's quite bad here, which is just full of sweets and chocolates. You know, you always get chocolates for Christmas. Some quality streets from Katie's parents. Um, all sorts in here, just sweets and chocolates and bits. Again, I'm not going to go through them all because it'll take far too long. Okay, so next up we'll do some Harry Potter and miscellaneous bits. So I got the Harry Potter satchel from Primark. I chose the brown version because I prefer it to the black and it cost £12. Basically, um, instead of buying me clothes this year, I asked my mum if I could pick my own clothes and I went to Primark to get them with her. And instead of buying clothes... <laughs> I did buy some clothes, which I'll show you, but I ended up getting this satchel for £12. I had a £50 budget, I think, and this Harry Potter LED light for £6. So I knew I had these, and I'll show you some of the clothes that I bought, or that I got uh, a bit later on. Also in this bag is where I've put some of my jewellery bits that I got for Christmas. So I didn't get a lot of jewellery, which is fine by me, because I don't use, I don't wear jewellery that often. But I got these earrings from my grandma, these pearl kind of earrings. My grandma got me this necklace with a E in it. There we go. My camera did not want to focus it, but I think that's really pretty. So they're from my grandma. And then, like I said, I got a few more jewellery bits, but I'm not going to show you all of them. But I did get this official Pirates of the Caribbean keychain as well, which is going with the Pirates of the Caribbean collection, obviously. Next up, I got a couple of wands from Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. I love the design of these boxes. So we have Queenie Goldstein's wand, and I got Serafina Pickery's wand, which I absolutely love as well. And there's a quick funny story with this one. I knew that I had this wand for Christmas, because if you remember, if you've seen the vlog, I went to World of Wizardry 2 with my mother in August, and I went to buy this wand. And um, my mum actually bought it at, at that Comic-Con. And I went back to the stall and it wasn't there. But I, mum, I knew mum was buying at that stall. So I knew that she'd bought me this. But it's so crazy that we both went to the same Comic-Con for the same item. Then I got this 2001 merch Harry Potter card game, which we've played a few times. It's actually a really good game. Every, all the bits are there. Next up, I got this Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone figure. Again, I think this is 2001 merch. It's called Magic Crystal Stone, collect them all. 
and I've never seen this before and it says collectible casting stone included. Then my best friend Katie bought me the Harry Potter baubles from Primark. I already have these as you've seen in a Primark haul. So what I'm going to do next year is leave one sealed in box and put the other baubles on my Christmas tree next year. Then Katie also bought me this muggle worthy um, door hanger. Again, I already have it from Fantastic Beasts. It's so hard to shop for me. I already have it but I'm going to hang this one on my actual bedroom door so it's fine. <laughs> then again, something I already have, if you watch my birthday haul video, Daniel of Daniel's Autograph Collections bought me the Storybrooke Cosmetic Makeup Brushes, um, the Harry Potter ones, and my parents had already bought them for Christmas at that point, so I've ended up with two. So again, I'm going to keep some new and sealed, and I'm going to use some, so it's, it's fine. Then from my mum's friend, I got this Royal Jelly uh, nail set. And from another one of my mum's friends, I got this ear cuff along with a pair of pyjamas that I'm actually currently wearing. So next up, I'll show you my books, and then the last things I got after books were clothes. I don't know whether I'm going to show you all the clothes in this video. So first up, we have this Adventures of Merlin book, Book of Mystery and magic. I also received two more Merlin books which I love so I have Merlin Valiant and Merlin the Traitor Within. Then I got two Doctor Who books. The first one is Doctor Who the Story of Martha which I've wanted for such a long time. Martha is one of my favourite companions as you guys know and I read this a library copy so I never actually owned my own copy. And the second Doctor Who book is the 2018 annual which I haven't read yet but I'll be reading that soon. Then I got two more annuals which is the Beano and the Dandy. It's kind of a tradition for me to get annuals every Christmas and this Dandy is actually an 80th birthday collector's edition. Next up I got this Harry Potter which I've never seen before. It's a weird sort of version. It's a library copy and I believe, I can't remember, but my uh, my dad said it was either Chinese or Japanese, but it's the Goblet of Fire. I forgot to show you because it was in the book bag, but I also have the Harry Potter 2018 calendar as well. And finally for books, my mum bought me six Tudor related books. Um, obviously, you know, I'm a huge Tudor fan. So we have The Lady Elizabeth, Alison Weir. We have Elizabeth and Lester by Sarah Gristwood. We have Three Sisters, Three Queens by Philippa Gregory, the deluxe edition. I love Philippa Gregory. We have The Taming of the Queen by Philippa Gregory. I do already have this one, I believe. But out of the six, it's the only one I already own, so that's good. Jane Boleyn, the infamous Lady Rochford. There we go. And I love Lady Rochford's story. And we also have Young Henry, The Rise of Henry VIII by Robert Hutchinson. So because this video is already quite long, I would assume I don't think I'm going to show you my clothes. So that's everything that I got for Christmas apart from my clothes. Um, I will do a separate clothing haul if you'd like it. Thank Thank you very much for watching. Again, I'm super happy and super lucky that I got this much for Christmas. This video isn't showing off at all. I'd hate for you guys to think that I'm doing that. Thank you to everyone that bought me a present and just especially particular thank you to my parents who do, you know, spoil me at Christmas and my birthdays. I can't lie and I'm just so happy uh, and grateful, like I said. So thank you very much. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and the next video from me will be sometime in the new year. Bye-bye.